What up, y'all? Welcome to the Casa. If you guys have never seen it before, we've been here for about a year and we're finally taking on our first big renovation project and it is going to be converting the kitchen. So when you walk in the front door right now and look to your left, there are these two walls that block the kitchen from the rest of the house. So we're taking them both down. Ah, ow, that kind of hurt. And uh, we're going to have a nice, beautiful island that's gonna go from that wall all the way to this pole. Open the whole thing up. Lots of big changes that we're really excited for and we want you guys to be a part of the action. All right, Max, ready to get this show on the road? Here goes nothing. Out with the old, and in with the new. How's it feel to be carrying, literally carrying your kitchen? Good, knowing what's coming in. Demo day is finally here. Let's take down these walls. Demolition is underway. The next step is to fix up the electrical and the plumbing, and we'll lay down the floor. So the walls are down, and the next step is to lay the tile for the flooring, put the cabinets on top of that, the countertop on top of that, and then just finish it up with the fine details. We chose these tiles, like a light gray hexagon tile. We are gonna lay the floor down in a really interesting way so it's going to kind of bleed into the wood in a, like a jagged pattern. I'm just excited to see it done. I, I can tell how incredibly opened up it's already gotten by removing the walls but with the tarp up it's hard to tell because they're kind of like walls themselves. So they said that once they're able to lay the floor and sand down the other portions of the wall we can take the tarp down so I'm really excited to see how much That'll give us some uh, light flowing into the rest of the house. All right, gonna give you guys the grand unveiling for one. it's not quite done yet, but big, big progress since last time. Check it out. The countertops are in. So we're casing this pole in some white wood. We're gonna be sanding down and refinishing, painting the walls. We're gonna be adding some floating shelves from our friends over at Carved, as well as a full wooden desk over there. And that's about it, just the finishing touches. We'll put some paneling back here, get some bar stools, and we'll be ready to rumble. Super jazzed. We just had our wooden countertops installed from our friends at Carved, a local Miami business. This is kind of going to be a countertop that transitions us out of the kitchen into a little office space over here for Joanne. And we also have some floating shelves over here in the kitchen that were made from our old desk. Check them out. Those are just kind of hanging out over here, nice and smooth, looking good. We'll probably put plates and cups and some uh, pretty things that we want to show the world on this wall and on that one. We're here, we made it to the end of the process. process of renovating the kitchen but the end result was definitely worth it thank you guys for joining us on the journey we hope you enjoyed the process along the way and we had some key people help us like Alfredo and Francis D&B tile carved woodworks and this is the finished product come on I'll show you around when you walk in from the front door 
we had to keep this sucker here for a little bit of structural support, but it blends in nicely with the waterfall countertop. The unique tile to wood transition came out really good. We're happy with the way that went down. We got all the appliances from Bosch, which we're pretty happy with. Nice big fridge packed full of good, healthy stuff. We got all the gold poles stocked up with Evertrain. We got our little coffee corner here, which is still in development. We're looking to get a, a really nice espresso machine and a couple other pieces to go there. That is going to be Joanne's little office section, which we need to fill in with a chair. Big, long, open, clean white countertop with a little bit of marbling through it. An induction stove top, which is pretty cool. We've never had one of those before, but it's really safe. The surface doesn't really get hot unless there's an induction pan on it. And it can heat up really, really quickly. It cooks things nice and evenly. Got these black pendant lights with the little gold accents. New dishwasher, new sink new oven, the floating shelves, which are really cool. And just all in all, it's just a good feel. It feels good to be in here, to be making breakfast, to host friends. What can I say, I'm a happy guy.